So hello everyone, uh, I want to record uh, a video for you to tell you a little bit uh, about what work experience would be like um, if you were to be working as a learning development consultant for uh, a few weeks. So I work in a big telecommunications company, so I work for Virgin Media. Uh, and if you were with me for a, a week or two, we would be getting very hands-on with our people. So the role of a learning development consultant does a number of things. I like to boil it down essentially to we help people just do their jobs a little bit better and a little bit easier uh, for them. So on any day or on any week, it would be a massive mixture of things. So it could be delivering face to face workshops around management skills or communication skills and having some of those challenging conversations with with people. And with everything going on at the moment, we've turned a lot of that to sort of virtual learning and virtual classrooms. So you'll have seen a lot of Zoom and WebEx and, and so on. So we're doing a lot more of that uh, at the, the moment. And with that, then you've got the emails that go out before, the emails that go out after, the conversations you get into, uh, into with people as a result. And they'll talk to you about their own individual context and some of the challenges they're facing as well. So that's part of what, what we'd be doing uh, if we were together uh, for work experience. Um, another thing that I like to do is speak to a lot of people in the business. So everybody in the business has problems or challenges and they hope that training can help and fix. And sometimes it can. And sometimes you just got to go in there and have an honest conversation with people. So we'd be going in together. We'd be sitting down with a stakeholder or someone in the business to say, what's your problem? What's really going on? How can we help? What else might be able to fix that? What else is really at the heart of this problem that might help it alongside things like training? And sometimes those conversations are easy and go with the folks. Sometimes they're a little bit challenging and you have to keep asking some of the questions time and time again. On the back of that as well, part of what I do and part of my role is looking at data and really getting into the heart of working out if we know we've made a difference, if we haven't, what differences we've, we've got to make so that when we go back to those stakeholders and have those conversations, we can say, look, this is what it looked like before and this is what it looked like after. And the more we can do things like that, the more we've got the, the chance of being able to, to show people the great work, uh, the great work that we do. On top of that, we'd be looking at some of our digital content. So you get hands on with um, some of our blogs and some of our digital content, editing that, checking that, adding videos, adding content to make sure that it's content that people want to go into, want to dive into, want to get hands on with uh, as well. So the role of a learning and development consultant covers a lot. Delivering to people, designing sessions and courses and really getting to the heart of the problem, having great conversations with stakeholders and getting hands on with some of that digital content um, as well. So look, I know you won't be able to spend that time doing it on work experience, but I hope this is giving you a bit of an insight into what it takes or what it would be to be a learning development consultant.